Molly and Mickey are so excited about their new gifts from Pup Saver, and they want to share them with you. Join them as we share lots of useful information about the Pup Saver car seat. We've been loyal Pup Saver customers since 2019. We started looking into a safety seat uh, for the car for the kiddos after hearing about someone that had been involved in an accident with their dog and their dog ended up running away out of fear after the accident and they got run over. This was terrifying to us. We found a carrier for the kids that we thought would keep them safe and the kids loved it. So we had that one for a little, little bit Fast forward a few months and we see a report on a morning news show about several different car restraint seats uh, for dogs that failed when they were crash tested. This was something that we had never thought about before. And the images from those videos terrified us. So we started doing our own research and we found a crash tested carrier that we liked, but there were a couple of issues with it. Uh, the first was that the kids had to be laying down whenever they were using it. And we knew that that was not something that they were going to enjoy. And we didn't like the thought of them having to lay down for extended periods of time if we were on a road trip. The second was that they were zippered inside this carrier. And so there was nothing inside the carrier to actually restrain them. It was the cover on it that was closed by a zipper. This really scared me because if for some reason someone other than Sean and I had to ever get them out of that carrier, um, they would not know that they needed to be prepared when they unzipped it to keep the kids from jumping out of it and getting loose. Uh, so because of that, I was still looking for a better alternative for a crash tested safety seat for the kids. That's when we found the Pup Saver. We loved that the Pup Saver was crash tested it gave the kids plenty of room to be able to lay down, but they could also sit up and look out the window, um, which they love to do in the car. And it gives Mickey the opportunity to be able to order his pup cups when we go through the drive through Pup Saver is a small company, and it shows in the way that they handle their customers. Um, anytime that we have reached out to them with a question or a concern, they have always been very responsive to us. And I really appreciate that about them. Now, a little bit about the Pup Saver seats. Um, they do come in three sizes. Um, they have the Petite, that is for dogs that are up to 10 pounds. Then they have the original Pup Saver, which is what Molly and Mickey have always used. That's for dogs that are 10 to 30 pounds. And then they have the Pup Saver 45 for dogs that are up to 45 pounds. The seats come in a variety of fabrics. Uh, the one, the new one that Molly has is the ditzy pink floral. And then we got Mickey, the snow leopard minky fabric, which feels amazing. We really love the feel of that fabric. Now, also, I do want to tell you, um, even if your pup saver has enough room for both of your dogs to sit in one, never, ever put more than one dog in a pup saver seat. Um, Pup Saver will tell you this because it is a safety thing. And um, as of the release of this video, if you go to their website, you will see that they offer a discount if you're purchasing two Pup Saver seats at one time. Um, but that could change at any moment. Okay, so today the kids got their new car seats from their friends at Pup Saver. And so they're very, Molly and Mickey are very excited about this. They've actually had Pup Saver car seats for about three years now. Since 2019. Yep, since 2019. And uh, we love them. First thing you want to do, you saw Molly and Mickey open it up for the Christmas. They were very excited about it. But the first thing you want to do is you want to fluff it out. And the reason, the purpose of that is to help it uh, keep its shape and form. Correct, mm -hmm. Amber? Yes. 
So the first thing we're going to do, this is Molly's nice new pink one with uh, flowers. Yes, that's called the Ditsy Pink Floral. Ditsy Pink Floral. She's getting all girly on me. First thing we're going to do is take the bottom cushion out. The cushion they sit on, we're going to take it out. It's got the hole right there for the strap that goes through there. But we're going to take that out. And then you're just going to push it inside out. Just like that. And then bring the backs together. So that will get nice and fluffy to keep its form to help protect your kids in that back seat. So why you have the cushion out after you fluffed it up, you want to get the tether, what you're going to hook them up to, get that length correct, which is uh, the length of their front legs. That way they can sit up in the car seat if they want to and easily lay down and sit up, but you definitely don't want them to be able to get out of it. Or, you know, because you want them to stay inside this area to help protect. So we'll get that done. And we're going to just put the bottom seat back in. And one of the best things I love, this is the same seat they had to begin with. They had the original. The fabric is different. But the other thing I love about this uh, is that your buckles are color coordinated. You got three on the bottom that are red. You see one here yellow, one green, one green, one yellow here. And then you got your two uh, hook points for your, uh, if you're putting it in the back seat, to actually put hook up to the uh, tether, system. tether system on the car. And they have blue dots on it. So the reason why I love this color coordinator is because I can't tell a story. The first couple of times I did it myself, I had to watch the video again and again to make sure I was doing it correct. This way is going to make it real easy. These three bottom ones that are red are going to get used every time. Then depending on which side, whether you put it on the passenger side or the driver's side in the back seat, will determine if you're using yellow or green, but you're going to either use the two yellow ones are the two green ones. Because at the end of the day, when this is in the car, it's going to be just like a person if they were in the back seat with the seat belt on. You're going to have the lap part done and the shoulder part done. So there will be two buckles when you're done and you have it installed correct that will not get used. All right. Let's get them put in the car. Okay, for the harnesses, we do use the Pup Saver harnesses. Those were the ones that were used for the crash test data. And so we do use those. We do, uh, we've used them since we got our first Pup Savers car seats. Uh, so they're real good harnesses. They have the, go ahead. I was just gonna say, and this is the only harness that Pup Saver, Pup Saver recommends using with their Right, because it was the one that was crash tested. This is the loop that actually gets hooked into the car seat. And we're going to put it on Mickey if he comes over here. Come on, Mickey. Come here, little man. And just a easy tip to know which side is the right side. There is a, a sticker that it uh, says the size on it. And so that goes at the top of their chest. Mickey, come here, babe. Come up here. Yeah, come here. Okay. So the harness is very easy to put on. It's just a step in, and then you snap it like this. It has the two hooks right there for uh, hooking their leash into. And all of the hardware for the harness is metal. Um, no plastic hardware on this harness at all. And then, see it fits him really nice. It's very comfortable for him, and they act like, like they're not wearing anything at all when they have it on. Okay, so we're out here at the car. We are going to put Mickey's car seat in first, which he sits behind Daddy. So he sits on the driver's side rear. 
So in your box with your car seat, you also get the package with the instructions and that clamp. The clamp's very important. We're going to use that. But I want to show you before I put the seat in on our... We have a 2018 Subaru Outback. And there's the restraint system for the car seats. And so we'll use those two straps with the blue dots on them, the clamps. And we're going to clamp, clamp them in right there is where that's going to go. All right. So the first thing we're going to do today with installing this car seat is we're going to pull the seat belt all the way out. All the way out. And then we're going to put our clamp on there. So it will hold that seat belt just like that. Then we're going to bring the buckle around. And we're going to go ahead and buckle it in. So we got that in there. Then we're just going to lay the rest of the seat belt down there. So now we can get the car seat and put in. So I believe earlier in the video, I said color coordinated. I meant color coded. So on these, it's a rear facing car seat is what this is for your fur babies. So on this, again, we're gonna use all of the red ones on the bottom. That's where our lap part that you see right here is gonna go. So we'll use all the red and then the blue hooks are gonna go on our car restraint system and then for the, on the driver's side rear we're going to use the green the two green green on that corner green on this corner if you put it on the passenger side you would use the two yellow but that's what i love about this because when you take it in and out this makes it real easy to see what you're going to use each time i will say that's one that for me since i'm the main one that does it i'll say that's the Best thing about this I love is how they've done that to make it real easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbuckle the ones we're going to use. So unbuckle all the red ones. And I'm going to unbuckle the green. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna buckle our lap belt part to our red. The three red on the bottom, we are gonna buckle those in. Just put them around the lap part of the seat belt and snap it in. All right, now that part I know in the video is gonna be real hard to see, because but I did wanna show you actually, in, show me actually installing it in a car. But again, that's the lap part of the seat belt that goes across your lap. We're hooking it into the, the three red straps on the bottom. That's what's getting hooked around that. Then we're gonna put the car restraint hooks on there. And they just, there's a little bar back in there that they just hook on. And depending on how old your car is, it may not have that latch system. Yeah, it may not. But I do like the fact that ours has it. Just another extra, extra part of security. Now this part you can see real well. We're going to go pull that a little tight. We're going to go through the green part again. Rear seat. Driver's side, we're using green. We'll hook that in. And then we're gonna hook it in the green up here. I'll, I'll just be honest with you right now. I'll tell you this is so much easier with it being color coded for me. So now we got that done. The only other thing we have to do is we're gonna tighten up our seat belt. Now, we're not gonna 
have it real tight because we don't want it to fold down like that on them, but we do want it to be probably just like that. That way, if something happens, it is gonna work like it's supposed to. It's not too loose, not too tight. Then you put your clamp back on it right there at the top. That way it holds it, because of course, how a seat belt works, it's locked. So you don't want it to, uh, to get even tighter. That, that'll prevent it from getting tighter. And then we're gonna just check this and make sure it's pulled as tight as we can get it. As you can see, I got more slack. So now I'm gonna let that slack out a little bit and just get that happy medium. Not too tight, see it's loose. Where they can get in and out real easy. So I'll show you from this angle. Again, there's our clamp. We use the green on the driver's side rear seat. We got our restraint system in, but that way they can get in and out easily. And then it'll work like it's supposed to, to protect them in case of any incident, which is not gonna happen. But safety first. Now let's get Mickey in there and see how he enjoys his new car seat from Pup Saver. All right. So now we're gonna put Mickey in his new car seat. Easy, but you just put him in the seat. They have a, they have a, the harnesses have a hook on the back, which we'll show you. And for when you put a leash on, and then they have a hook on the front, a bigger loop on the front and you'll just click that in place with the hook that's in the car seat and they're all set and see he can move which he just demonstrated but that's as much as he can do right there he can sit up he can lay down but he can't get out that way if something was to happen between the back seat the protection of the back seat and this car seat that's going to help protect this little man man in case anything happens all right, so now I'm putting Molly's seat behind her mama. That's where she sits in the car. As you, you can see, you can fit two of the original size in the back seat of a Subaru Outback with no problem whatsoever. And we have been known to squeeze a full-size adult in between those two seats. Not the most comfortable, but we've done it. Yes, we have. But we wanna thank everybody for watching. We want Molly and Mickey Wants to thank everybody for watching. It's been a lot of fun doing this video with Molly and Mickey. If you have any questions about anything, please uh, contact us. We'll be more than happy to answer it. You can also follow Molly and Mickey on TikTok and Instagram at Two Happy Bostons. They would love for you to do that because they have a lot of fun on a daily basis. So. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and have a great week. Because everything's better together. together.